something for justice for the late Jeff Mwathi. A young life cut short. Now climate change is continuing to manifest and ground water sources now remain the next frontier as a main source of water to sustain life. For Turkana County, it is a story, by the way, of contradictions that while the county is classified as arid and semi-arid land, it also holds some of the largest quantities of groundwater reserves in its two aquifers. That's the Napu and Lotikipi aquifer. Judith Akolo was in Turkana County and brings you the story. The sandy and hilly Lodwa town stands patched, surrounded by the imposing stony hills. But this town in Turkana County, classified as an arid and semi-arid lands county, is sitting on a freshwater aquifer. The Napu aquifer, with a capacity of over 10 billion cubic meters of water. The beauty with groundwater is there is no evaporation. So once it gets recharged, it is kind of protected from the usual weather parameters. It's an alluvial kind of aquifer that we read to be very vulnerable. Moving around Lodwa town, one notices the many water bowsers that dot the town, waiting for the call to deliver the precious commodity. Some drive into Moy Stadium to fill the tanks with water from River Tarquel that snakes through the town. We've uh, done piping of uh, six kilometer and we have raised tank within the aquifer to serve the people within that area. An organization known as REACH, improving water security for the poor, in collaboration with the University of Nairobi and Turkana County government, is working on modalities to ensure that the vulnerable households are able to access clean drinking water. For the county government to follow it to the latter on how the measures they need to take to protect the aquifer system. But with the growing population in Lodwa town and its environs, there is fear that the aquifer could be contaminated due to poor sanitation and the use of pit latrines. And one of the issues uh, that I'm focused on is to develop mechanisms where all our water sources uh, are not contaminated. We'll do what we call community sensitization to sensitize a people who are living within the aquifer to move far from the aquifer because of its fragility. The aquifer is recharged by River Kawalase with its catchment on Loima Hills Forest and River Takwell. The Napu aquifer is not the only one in Turkana County. The Lotikipi aquifer turns out to be the largest of the two, boasting of a capacity of over 70 billion cubic meters of water. Haya maji hatutumi. Tumepata report kwamba hiyo maji ni sunline. Haitatumika na binadamu mpaka wasafishwe. Tumeongoja wasafishwe to death. Nasinyono is one of the agricultural areas in the Lotikipi Plains. Here, they are dependent on rain-fed agriculture, even as they are sitting on a vast aquifer. Lakini sisi tunajua tu kufika mwezi watatu, sisi tunaweka tumbe guyotu shini. On this day, the skies open, and when it rains, the plains of Lotikipi with their clay loam soils become impassable. It is tough here, as the impacts of climate change are evident, as when it rains, it is a storm, and when it doesn't, it is a drought. Calls for adaptation to climate change might be the answer to the plight of the people here. Judith Akolo, Prime Edition.